morning, Arthur. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Good job, Arthur. Ow! Oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. going on. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me, too, if I leave him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. Easy there, now. easy. Easy. Whoa. This way. Come on. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> 
You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right, here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valley. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
a train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me! You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care! Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Sure is nice out. You got that right. Come on! Can I help you, sir? People! I, d I yep. do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? A bath, perhaps? No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Oh. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but... It is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Please, please. Just, Just born it. Stay back. <laughs> You stop right here! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Please! I can't get up! You have to help me! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in... What the hell are you doing? Oh! Ah! <laughs> hey there, pal. Can you help me? No meal is complete. Could you use some help? Finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm um, at. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? 
Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. This is Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Open the damn lock, or give me the key. It's a stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. <clears throat> He don't open the lock right now. Mister, help! You hey, shut up. Get out of here. Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey, isn't that... Shit, it is. Arthur Morgan himself. Ah! Oh, open up on him. Ah! Ah! I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway, so why don't you go ahead and take what you want from the lockbox? It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. So I've been told. <laughs> 